gist of the question was, you know, what was what was the reasoning behind signing with a major label as opposed to signing with a distribution company? Um, you know, there's a lot of reasons why. Well, first of all, backtrack. You got to understand the game that you're playing. You got to understand the game that you're playing. And everybody's game is different. For me and where I'm trying to go, major label was the route to go. One, the finances are different front end and back end, <laughs> you know, the front end finances are way more significant. The back end finances could be a lot less when you go a record label route. Um, but we needed that jump start, and we needed the infrastructure that a label provides. We needed to be able to bring artists to them and say, hey, you know, for instance, for Atlantic, you know, they have Cardi B, Ed Sheeran, Bruno Mars, Meek Mill, Roddy Rich, et cetera we needed to go to a place that knew what they were doing in that space. And for us to be able to come in and assert our sauce and ultimately help that talent grow. Um, so that was the reason behind it. You know, I do have thoughts and, and visions about one day being fully independent and, um, and, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that as we speak. Um, but, you know, now is not the time for that for me and for the company. Um, distribution is great because, now, the front end economics on the distribution side are a lot less, um, but the back end is a lot more with success, right? Because you own everything. And if that thing is a hit, then there's less people that you have to pay out. And so you got to play your game and you got to say, OK, do I want to go with the front end or the back end? You know, you got to like weigh all these factors. The other thing with distribution is, is nine times out of 10, there's no infrastructure that's provided to you. So when it comes to running your business, it's pretty much all on you. So if you go sign an artist, all the responsibilities of signing that artist rely on you, you know, where you don't have, you know, an a and r admin, you don't have a legal department, you don't have a sync department, you don't have a, a publicity department, et cetera. And so you really got to figure out, okay, what is, what are all the components that I need? And that's how you could decide. Um, I think that label services are seriously lacking in the music business. There's a lot of companies that are offering label services, but what are they really doing? You know, that's a conversation for another day. Um, I actually have visions. I woke up this morning and I started like breaking down what a real label services uh, company could be. So you guys might see that, you know, next year, next coming years, I started writing down. So we'll see when I get the time to do it. But um, that's my long winded way of saying, you gotta play your game. You gotta figure out what works for you.